Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on an effect that was requested on Patreon. I made a short video to illustrate the effect as you can see. It's an effect that makes two objects physically attract each other and create a detailed destruction simulation. We will see how to build this effect step by step, adding a lot of small detail and secondary destruction with a lot of debris. You can find this project as usual on Patreon, along with all my other projects. The setup available on Patreon and Gumroad also includes an extra pass to add even more debris and secondary effects. I also invite you to check out my Patreon, where you will find tons of awesome projects and hundreds of gigabytes of liquid assets and other cool stuff. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumb up and subscribe, it really helps the channel a lot. Okay, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing I'm going to do is to create the two primitive for the collision, the destruction. So, maybe with a sphere like this. Increase the subdivision. And a torus knot. Okay, torus knot. Decrease a bit the scale and increase the subdivision the segment here and the sides okay perfect i will now create a title setup open editor move the window on the right and i will now add a burst object i can now pick the sphere and the torus knot I can hide these two elements and we can see we have the type of setup with the two objects. Now what I want to do is to create an attraction, maybe in the center of the grid. So I will add a force and for the attraction I will use a tie wind. So here's a tie wind in standard, tie flow, tie wind. Okay. Like this. Zero 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 for the axis and i will change the wind to a spherical i don't need noise on. okay so to create the attraction what i have to do is just to enter a negative value so i will set the value to minus 0 0.5 i can now pick the tie wind here and you can see the attraction perfect I want maybe something in slow motion, so I will just go here in the time scale and divide the time scale 0 0.5. Okay. Perfect. We can see the attraction, but we don't have physical collision between the two elements. So to create this, I will add a physics shape. Type again. In the menu, go to physics, and I don't want gravity, and I don't want ground collider. Okay. Perfect. Just decrease a bit again the type of setup like this. Okay. So, again, collision. Perfect. So, I can see that the collision starts maybe at frame 20, so I will go in my tie wind, set a key for this value here, and for the keyframe 21, I will set the value to zero. Okay. Okay, it's perfect like this. Now that we have the two objects, physical simulation, the collision, what we want to do is to create the destruction. So we will use the multi-fracture with a prism engine, but just to explain the process, I will just use for the moment a Voronoi, a simple Voronoi. So I will add a Voronoi, Voronoi fracture here, and you can see the effect. You can of course increase the number of points here, 100 okay that's perfect if you want you can just move your object to change the look of the destruction 
perfect. It's good, but what we can see here is that we have some trouble here in the look of the element. To fix that, it's very simple. What we have to do is just add a physics bind. Physics bind after the Voronoi fracture. And you can see, no, it's good. It's good, but we don't have the collision. So we will go here in breaking, activate force, and you can play here with the force. Maybe 1000. Perfect. You can see here that some pieces are attached. So if you want, you can again decrease the value 100. But 500. I think it's good. Yeah. It's perfect like this. Okay, so as I show you here, you can use the physics bind, but you have to remember that the multifracture and the prism engine consume a lot of memory, so we don't want to start the simulation at the frame zero, we want to start Voronoi fracture at frame maybe 20, at frame maybe 20, 25, something like this. So I will just delete the physics bind, add a surface test, Here, I can maybe create an object, a simple sphere. I will set the sphere to the frame zero, 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 zero. Okay, I can pick this sphere, hide the sphere, and I will move the Voronoi fracture to another event. Duplicate the display, maybe change the color of this display, maybe blue and link the surface test to this event. So, surface test, increase the value, 20. Perfect, like this. So you can see that after the distance of 20, we switch to the second event and of course the Voronoi is activated. It's perfect. Okay, so basically here we have a setup and now we will go a bit further by using the multifracture and the prism engine to create a lot of detail in the simulation. So I cannot delete the fracture and add the multifracture. Okay, just here. So, here we can see the pieces. I will go in multifracture, fracture display, and I just want to see the intersection. Okay, I will now go in the noise and set the noise to zero because I don't want to have for the amount of noise in the creation of the fracture of the Voronoi. So, zero. Okay, I will now go back to the fracture point. And here you can play with the fracture to set the number you want. What I love to do is just to stay very low in the count, maybe 12, and activate enable cluster. Maybe 5 cluster. Oh, okay. What we will want to do for the final result of the simulation is to have a material for the torus, a material for the sphere, and another material for the inside of the two objects. So, to create this, we will go in Fracture Mesh. Where is Fracture Mesh? Mm -mm -mm, here. And here with the Material ID, we can select the number of Material ID we want. So, as I said, one, for the sphere, one for the torus, and another for the inside. So we will go with three material. I can open my material editor, go to material general, and create a multi sub object. I just want three material, and I will add um, physical material. So one, two, three. 
link the material to the multi cell object and I can apply no I cannot select my type flow setup and apply this material to the type flow. Okay, I cannot change the color. So just decrease here like this uh, the scale and change the color here. So maybe red. Red will be for the torus. green for the sphere and we will stay with the gray for the inside so let's see if it works it's perfect perfect like this as you can see we can see here the pieces but mm, the look of the pieces is too sharp too linear we want something with a lot of deformation to create something very realistic so here we have the segment size we will, we will stay at five for the moment. No, we will decrease, we will decrease it. So go back here and set a value maybe of 0 0.5. So we can see that now we have a lot of subdivision here. You can increase the max segment like this. And to create a very cool look in the pieces, what we have to do is just go back to the fracture noise here and play with the strength and the scale. So for me, a good value for a scale is a value of five. It's between five and 10. And I will increase the strength to maybe 1.2. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool like this. So let's see what we have now. Yeah, it's a very cool start, a very cool start. Of course, if you want to add more detail, what you have to do is just go back in the fracture mesh and decrease the segment size, maybe 0 0.1. And as you can see, you have something very, very detailed. It's very cool like this. Go back to 0 0.5 for the moment. Maybe increase the count. Okay, I think it's good for the moment. Now, what I love to do is to add a second iteration here to create a lot of detail. So basically, the second iteration will keep the same noise, but with a different seed. So to create that, you just have to go back in your fracture for noise and change the number of iteration. You can go with two, three, it's as you want. Let's try with two. You will see a second noise here perfect that will add a lot of detail whoa it's very cool very good start i will now go back again to mesh to see how it looks with a very low value go further in the simulation Yes, it's nice. As you can see, we have a lot of big pieces for the collision, for the destruction. But if you want to add something very explosive with a lot of small parts, small pieces, what you can do is to add another multifracture, but focusing on the edge. So I will show you how to create that. I will first go back to a low value for the segment size, 0 0.5 as usual. Okay, I can now copy past and in the mode I will not select Voronoi fracture but mm -mm, edge fracture simple I use the simple because the simple is very easy to set up it creates very very strong result so in the fracture edges I will just keep the fracture corner so I deactivate the fracture edges okay can go back maybe to 120 okay so you can see here the look 
and we will now add the multifracture to the event. And now you can see that it adds some destruction again in the edges of the corner. And now as you can see, the multifracture edge add more definition, more destruction, more paranoia in the corner of your initial simulation. Okay, you can see here, like this, like this one, this one here. You can easily control the number in the fracture planes. And up the number with the count here, maybe five. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, we can see the change. Maybe again. Perfect. Here in the fracture meshes, we can see that we are again with 0.5. So if you not focused, if you don't create a focus a macro on the small pieces, you don't need to improve this value. You can keep a value between 0.3 or 0.5 but if you want more detail in the simulation you can set the same value as for the first multifracture so for me 0.3 will be good okay i cannot go back to the first voronoi and set the value to 0 0.1 and maybe if i want again more detail i can just go back to the fracture point and for the cluster, maybe six. Can play a bit with the variation. Okay. So now let's see what we have. We launch the simulation and we will just have to wait for the simulation to be created. Ooh. Lot of detail thing. I will just deactivate the edge and whoa. We can see here lot, lot, lot of details. It's amazing like this. Amazing. Let's see the simulation. Okay, so basically what we've done in this tutorial. First, we created the two objects convert the object in physics with a physics shape, add a force to create the attraction. The Voronoi multifracture is created with the surface test of the sphere, the sphere right here. Okay. And after we created two multifractures with a lot of details. So one for the basic destruction and the second to add a lot, lot, lot of detail in the edges, in the corner to create a lot of small pieces as you can see here, to create something very, very impressive with a lot of realism. Of course, once your simulation is done, what you can do is change the material here to add the material you want. Okay, guys, that's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. You can take it even further with the project file available on Patreon and Gumroad as usual. If you want to play around with all my other files and sets, don't forget to give the video a thumb up and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. And I will see you very soon for another tutorial, guys. Bye.